Hello everyone, welcome to Sinal's Kitchen. Today we'll be making yamza, and these are the things we need to make the yamza. We need our yam, we need onion, tomato, green pepper, and red pepper, ball peppers, and bell pepper, sorry. Then we need salt and seasoning cubes. We also need eggs, shredded cheese, and sausage. So the first thing we're going to do is to grate our yam. If you have a food processor, it's fine but if you have the normal hand grater you can also use that so I'm using the hand grater I'm going to grate the yam first and we'll continue from there now I'm done grating my yam we'll move on to the next level that's getting our pan on heat so let's go ahead we're going to add a bit of oil on the pan and just let it get hot let the oil get hot for say 30 seconds until you can feel the heat from the oil don't put your hand inside now in the yam we are going to add our seasoning cube and salt Then just mix it together before putting it <clears throat> on heat. If you want to add any other seasoning, it's fine, but this is okay. Because of my love for pepper, I'm going to add some paprika. But normally, you're not supposed to add pepper. But if you like pepper, you can add to it. Because I love pepper a lot, that's why I'm adding to it. But you can do without pepper. All right. Now that our oil is hot, hot, we are going to add our yam and spread evenly. Just spread it throughout the pan. Spread it out. Now we're going to leave this to to cook for about three to five minutes and check on it. You you can always turn until the under of the yam is hard and cooked but we we'll just keep checking and we we'll stir turn it over so it doesn't get burnt you can see see the way this is this is how it should look so just stir turn the face like that so it goes round now in we move on to our eggs our eggs we're going to add our onion inside the egg a bit of salt and some cheese just a bit just take from the one you have not everything and whisk Mix everything together like that. You can see the way our yam looks now after about three minutes. So we're going to add our egg now to it. Add the egg. Just spread it around. Also add the sausages. In it and the leftover cheese just spread it in there too spread 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 add the peppers as well then we're going to cover this and leave it for another Cover it and leave it for another 20 minutes on low heat. Reduce the heat so it doesn't get burnt even before you finish. We're going to allow this cook, allow the egg cook in here. So leave it, cover it now and leave it for about 30 minutes. For this process, you can also use an oven. When you do it like this, you just put it inside the oven. But for those that do not have ovens, 
you can leave it like this for 20 minutes let the egg just cook on and every other thing on the, the toppings let them cook a bit then we can bring it down so let's just wait and see how it looks when we're done okay checking after 30 minutes i'm just going to use a toothpick to see if the egg is set inside see it's not yet clean so just leave it for about five minutes or so until the toothpick and the toothpick comes out clean sorry so let's just leave this for some time and we'll come back for it again let's check again now let's see you can see the toothpick is clean clean and clean mm. i can't wait to dig in all right this is all enjoy and tell me recreate yours and tell me how it, it came out mm, i can't wait all right see you guys later bye